Hey guys, this is Talk Tech Time, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Gridly emulator on any iDevice on any firmware. For those of you who don't know what Gridly is, it was an iOS emulator leaked into the App Store about a month ago, but was shortly taken down after Apple caught wind of it. But today I have a workaround that allows you to install Gridly on any iOS device without a jailbreak. Let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is go down to the description and click the link I have provided for you. It will take you to the download page for the program for Windows or Mac. Now personally, I clicked download link number 2. Whichever link you pick is completely up to you. Once you've downloaded the program, you're going to want to go through the setup process that it gives you. Now this is all going to be in Chinese, so you're just going to have to go by your best guess. Okay, so I just went with all of the defaults that it came up with on the installer. I just clicked next and went through the whole process that way, and it worked out fine for me. Once you have the program installed, you should see an icon that looks like this. Now the whole application itself is going to be in Chinese. So when you open it, you're not going to be able to read anything that you see. Once you learn the basics around this application, it is not hard to use at all. Up here is your search bar where you search the app, and here's your search button. So we're going to be searching for Gridly. And why it's still in here after it's been removed from the App Store, I don't know, but it seems to work. So you want to click here and press the install button. You got to make sure your phone is plugged in before you install the app. Because once you hit this button, it downloads and installs right away. So this button is all you need to press. And that's about it, guys. Once this downloads and installs, you will find it on your phone and it will work just like anything else. Another thing is, guys, there's been a problem with this to where sometimes when you install the app and you open it, it will ask for your Apple ID and password. And that's not a problem. You just plug your phone right back into your computer, open up this app, and click this little toolbar icon right here. Once you click the OK button, it will patch everything up and everything will be good to go. And yes, this app can also be used to install paid apps for free on your iOS device without a jailbreak. One thing that I found about it is it does not have a huge selection of apps. It will have just basics. Let's try Angry Birds and it does have the Angry Birds and the names on here will be in Chinese but once you install them on your device itself it will be in English so that's about it guys I hope you liked the video guys hit that like button subscribe leave a comment down below if you need any help or if you just want to give me any improvement tips for now this has been talk tech time and I'll see you guys in a future video